Hi, I'm Elaine from Gorgeous Gardens and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a bamboo cane framework for your runner beans to grow up. Uh, you can see that I've got a couple here already done so you can see what they look like. These seeds are planted a little bit later so I now need to create a framework for them. Everything that you will need for this tutorial will be coming up next and it's also in the description below. So you're going to need three bamboo canes. When you're selecting your canes, try and find canes that are as long as possible. The ones I've got here are 2.4 meters long. They are pretty long, but runner beans do like to grow very high. So the longer the sticks, the higher the beans can grow. You'll want some green twine. We're gonna be tying the bamboo canes together. And also we're gonna be tying lower around the pot as well so that the beans have something else to cling on to, not just the poles and you'll need your trusty garden scissors to cut your twine. So it's a good idea to water your pot well before you do this, because it makes it easier to get the canes in. So what we want to do is to take, just use one of the canes and keeping it away from the plants, push it down into the pot close to the side. When, when it's wet it's a lot easier to do this so push that right down twisting and turning as you go that's in and then we can gently remove that and then here the other side we can create another hole just push the cane down into the pot give it a twist remove that again Ooh. and then here again creating a triangle of holes, push it right down firmly, give it a bit of a twist, and then take that out. So we've now created some holes in our pot. So you want some of your nice green twine, and we want to tie a loop around the first cane. You want it about 30 centimeters or so down from the top of the um, the top of the cane because we want to create a sort of wigwam mesh effect at the top so just tie tie the first one and leave quite a long piece on the other end uh, and I'll show you why you want to do this in a minute so just tie your first cane so it's going around and we've got a knot then get your next cane and then you want to wind the twine around the cane and do that two or three times and that's firm then get your third cane and wrap it around there so we're just wrapping it around that one cane two or three times so each of the canes has been wrapped around several times and then we're going to then wrap all the canes together now so you want to go around and around a few times using up using up the string so then with that longer piece from the first knot we made in the first cane we then can tie them together that's the trick with that so place a few knots in there to hold that firmly okay you can leave this long just in case you find that they need a bit of readjusting and you need to take them out and retie them. You don't have to then find another piece of string. So I'd leave this long until you've, you're sure that you're happy with that. 
This is nice and firm now. And what's gonna happen is we'll place the, these canes, now they're tied together, in the holes that we've already made. And you'll see there that we then create this kind of wigwam effect at the top. Once the, the canes go in, they will then poke out like that. And it, it creates a nice strong framework for your beans to climb up. Holding your canes higher up gives you a bit more room to angle them into their spaces. So finding those holes, that's it. Just take your time and just push each cane in so that they're nice and firm. You might have to wiggle them around a little bit, but they're in now, that's great. And once they're in, we can now firm back the soil around the edges, minding the plants. Uh, so they're in, that's great. So all that's left to do now is to take our twine. I've taken quite a long piece and we just want to wrap it around the first cane, tie a knot in it, and then we're gonna connect the canes together just with the twine. So as you can see, I'm just wrapping around each cane, the back to the first one, and then tie a knot in that, cut that off. And that is then done. It creates a nice framework for the plants gives them something extra to cling on to you can add uh, the twine further up the canes as the plants are growing just to keep them in within the framework and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be next seeing some lovely beans appearing so I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial if you have please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and um, I hope in the meantime that your beans do well as well and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. So in the meantime, happy garden.